Hello, hello, happy Saturday, everyone. I always feel like I'm squatting. Welcome to Renee Kill Art. What are you guys doing tonight? As always, my mama juice is, you know, full and raring to go. I have been trying and playing with some new stuff. So that's what we are going to do tonight. Am I a pro? No, but you know what? I love to paint pour. When you guys hop on or when you watch this, because you're all going to subscribe to my channel and we're going to connect on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It's just my name, Renee Keel. Let me know what your favorite type of paint pour is. Or if you're like, what the heck? What do you mean what type of paint pour? Let me know. Say, I'm a noob because I'm a noob too. So I love stencils. I love to stencil. Like I started with furniture and then, and while I, while I yimmer yammer, when I prep my canvas and I, it started with furniture and then I got into stenciling. I'm like, why pay for art when I could create my own wall art? Hello, <laughs> right? And then my neighbors got me hooked on paint pouring. It is the most therapeutic, mentally calming thing, especially in these times. So this paint splattered bottle, it has a couple dot drop. Blah, 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 blah. I haven't had that much mommy juice. A little bit of Dawn dish soap for some reason, like with everything else, when it comes to Dawn dish soap, only Dawn dish soap works, okay? I just kind of squirt and wet my canvas. I have a bunch of little eight by 10 testers that I got at Michael's. I think the sale is still going on and there's still a couple coupon codes, I think 20% off. So it's like a killer deal. Um, I do my bigger ones once I get comfortable <laughs> with something. Learn that the hard way, who's with me? So this piece is a stencil pour that I, played with. I think it turned, I'd like, I love this, but I'm still going to perform a little bit of surgery. Yes, I am. And if you hear beeping in the background, my laundry's done. <sighs> yeah, I'm set up in the garage. I love it though. It took me three hours to set up. Um, cause you know, I'm popping the garage cherry tonight cause I, I could be loud. I could sing my punk rock at the top of my lungs, but then I just got to clean it all up. So my husband, AKA Mr. Lover, hashtag Mr. Lover can pull his car back in. Okay, so I do kind of wet my canvas with a little bit of Dawn dish soap water mixture. I just grabbed this stencil. So we're gonna play with that. I did pre-mix all of my paint, okay? Uh, for those of you that, you know, have been with me for my, for my makeup passion. I mean, doesn't my makeup look rad? Yeah, I had to put on my, my red lipstick. It's called Wealthy um, for Confidence. Because it's a scientific fact that when you put on red lipstick, it gives you an instant confidence boost. Because for some reason, like I've been doing makeup and skincare for five years. For some reason, when it comes to my art, which like burns deep, passionately in my soul, I get so nervous and my hands shake. Okay, so this is white paint. I mix my colors with... Flow troll. Um, I, I, I just have fun. I try new stuff. I experiment. Um, this is titanium white mixed with a little toy. I got it's, um, acrylic pearlescent mixing media. See everything that I have is splattered with paint. So yeah, it's kind of hard to read. So I am just going to put a little bit on hopefully. Up. Yay. I set the camera up, right? Yes, my clothes are on inside out. I am, I've become inside out girl. Like why ruin clothes? Like I don't want to be buying new clothes. And of course I lost my favorite palette knife. Oh no, I did it. Here it is. So yeah, my clothes are always inside out. I always think of that Eve Six song, <laughs> Inside Out. Okay, so, you know, sing it with me because I've been listening to my punk rock from my phone, because my headphones don't work here in the garage for some reason. It's like, okay, I'm not in like an underground bunker or something. Okay, so dollar store palette knife. If you are just starting out with all things painting, Dollar Tree is gonna be your best friend. Yeah, the stuff at Dollar Tree is amazing. And 
guess what? It's a dollar. It's one dollar. So this white, I do mix with distilled water to make it more fluid if it's a base coat. Um, you could go around your edges, but you just kind of want to get a little bit of a base just so everything kind of flows, okay? Now, yesterday on my Facebook page, I did a video of this and I forgot to post the picture, so I will take that picture. Um, that's on my personal Facebook profile, just Renee Keel. I've changed everything to Renee Keel. Um, my Instagram is Renee K Beauty, but if you look at under Renee Keel, K-E-E-L-E, -E -E, that's K-E-E-L-E. -E -E. Just look for the purple hair, you guys. You know, sometimes it has blue in it, sometimes hot pink, but like you could always find me with my purple. So you see how that's all like flowy? Yeah. I, I, I gave this some of my mommy juice. Now, one thing that I've always been like, okay, what the heck do I do with the edges? Um, there's some where I've cleaned the edges up, but I'll cover all, all those questions. Oh, look, a piece of purple hair. I'll cover all those questions in a separate video. So please, if you have um, questions, drop them in the comments after you hit the subscribe or follow button, depending which social media platform you are joining me on and I will cover what I do in a separate video. Yeah, I'm always covered in paint. Like I gave up on my nails and I haven't even worn my wedding ring in like forever just because like I'm always covered in paint. <laughs> I love this stencil. So I have a gazillion. Oh my gosh, you guys, the stencil addiction's real. Where did I stick them? Like I have, I have a ton and I love mandalas. Mandalas each have a different significant, like they each represent something. And I absolutely love that. I have no clue what that represents or what it means. So like if, if you are curious, I will look it up or, if, you know, somebody knows, like share with all of us, please. Okay. How in the heck did I get, okay, my hair got stick. So I love metallic. I mean, I love bling. I love stuff that blue. Like I am one of those in your face girls. So I'm going to put a little bit of my Peacock Teal Metallic. Again, this is a mix with Floetrol. This is Artist Loft. I mixed it with Floetrol. I, I just do one part Floetrol to paint. And then I put a little distilled water in just to get it all like fluid like. Um, and I experiment with all kinds of different cell forming mediums. Um, this one currently has baby oil in it. The best cell one is my Lange hot oil hair treatment, but that one's a little pricey to be playing with. So I'm trying to find some other ones, but good old silicone oil works too. So you could already see that the cells forming. I mean, look. Now, the, the secret, go light. It's kind of like when, you know, as I'm always saying in my makeup videos, use a light hand, okay? You don't got to dig in. Use a light hand. For me, because I'm always in a rush, I am always spastical, like my little dog, my precious little dog. She's a Jack Russell, and we are the perfect fit, mommy and fur child. Yeah. So this is also, you know, art and makeup has, have also helped me kind of just chill the, the, the fluke out. See, and that's where you could kind of get some of the edges. Get your edge on. Yeah, I really miss my music. Yeah, I even tried to put my headphones on and just stick them on my easy up for, you know, for when before the world ended and I did a ton of makeup shows. Um, but yeah, for some reason, they don't work out here. And keep in mind, with art, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? Like, that's always been my pitfall is, oh my gosh, what are others going to think? You know what? <sighs> Screw that. Who are these others? Are they paying your bills? Or do they make you happy? Obviously not when you're, like, worried about what they think, right? So pooey on them. 
doesn't have to be perfect and you could always paint over something you 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 fluke up okay here comes the fun part do, 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 do. so my youngest granddaughter is now two and a half and our our song okay and any other grandmas in the house or grandpas we are addicted to elmo elmo cookie shark do, 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 do. so if i start like breaking out in song and dance it's because I, I i miss my little willis so I'm thinking we're going to do peacock colors, okay? It'll match my hair that I've been, yeah, I've had to resort to do myself, you know, because I live in um, L.A. County, and yeah, everything's shut down and closed. So we're going to do hot pink, purple, fault, I can never say it, the P-H-A-L-T-O blue, but I did add some metallic to the blue. This is a new... Um, I mix these two with the hot pink. Can you see them? Can you see them? Allegedly, they glow in the dark. Um, I'm excited to stencil with those. And then the good old white. And then a little bit of black. Now this, I have two blacks. So this is a metallic black that I mix with Floetrol. And this is my straight up matte black. Okay. I always do a border. Oh crud, am I hiding this with my paint bottles? Yeah, the transition from doing paint videos and ma or makeup videos and paint videos, it, it's been kind of funny because I just, I'm like, wait a minute, like with my makeup videos, I got to be like right there, you know? Doesn't my makeup look so rad tonight? Of course it does. It's unique. Um, And with the paint, it's like, you guys don't care about my mug. You guys want to see what I'm doing. See, look, this is why I like putting the dawn. Can you see? Like the, the little cells, the glorious, beautiful cells already like forming. And I am very frugal. I'm cheap. And um, I try and I guess one of my greatest hurdles since I started paint pouring is I don't use enough paint. And I, I just, I don't want to waste Okay, so I'm going to kind of, I'm using a light hand just to kind of do a little swooshity swoosh around the edges. Now, I'm going to do a dirty pour on this. What is a dirty pour? A dirty pour, goodness, yeah, it's really freaking cold out here. We had glorious rain. I'm a pluviophile. Any other pluviophiles? Like, I love, love the rain. I'll stand out the rain. I'll be the crazy chick that sings and dances. Um, but it's cold here for California. Okay. So a dirty pour is when you put all the colors in one cup. Okay. And, and then you, you slowly dump it on. So again, I use my handy dandy Dawn dish soap. It's mainly like, goodness, it's pretty much two drops of Dawn dish soap. And then I fill it with water. It just helps the paint kind of flow. How flow can you go? And we will start, okay, we're going to start with blue. Now, if you want like those beautiful cells, little tip, kind of hold it high and squirt. And because I just want to cover the stencil area itself with this, I'm not going to, hopefully I put just enough paint and hopefully I don't put too much paint. Like I do have... <laughs> A couple of things for runoff paint and it, it gets muddy okay good old titanium white now there's so many YouTube videos um, my favorites are like Olga I can't think of her last name there's Jilly cube like there I have a few amazing beauties that have taught me so much and um, I kind of use this like when I cook, I renee it, you know, whenever I cook something, I'll look up three recipes and then just kind of create my own. So that's the beauty of this. Like you can do what you want. Okay, let's put a little per, I knew that was going to get clogged. Good thing I found my push pin. Yeah, I thought I lost this. So I run in the house. I'm like, boys, 
boys, you know, my husband and my 16 year old beast, I mean, son, I'm like I lost a pushpin and my son thinks he's a hobbit. Like he's always barefoot, but thankfully I found it though, because he's a hobbit, he probably wouldn't even feel, okay, it's still hot. Come on. Probably wouldn't even feel if it lit. La, la, no, wait, la di da -di. we likes to potty. Okay, let's see if it'll come up. Come on. Okay, so, hi, my name is Renee, and I always have, I just call them Renee-isms. See, the beauty is, like, if you can't laugh at yourself, you just got to roll with it. Okay, this one doesn't, there we go, yay, we got squirt. See, doesn't that look so cool already? And I always got to remember to put the lids on. And then just to kind of mix and spice things up a, a bit. And I love these silicone cups. I really need to like transfer this into like a, a Dixie. I almost said Pixie cup. Whatever, a Dixie cup. Again, Dollar Tree. Just so I could wash it. These things rock. Because they're washable and you could, you could give them a little squeeze and kind of control the amount that comes out. Okay, so from my left-brained artist dude that I love to watch, I don't know if I'm, actually I'm left-handed, so I'd probably be right-brained, but he's awesome. Squirt a little silicone oil. If, if you're looking to create them big, bodacious, beautiful cells, and with the craft stick, Dollar Tree, just kind of, can you see what I'm doing? Just kind of do like a, oh, I was going to say, kind of like, like the big tattoo on my back. Yeah, I got a family crest on my back. Oop. Oh, I, I'm, I'm showing my, 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 my frugalness. And then... I'm going to use this. This was a cup. I mean, obviously, hello, can you see me now? There's so many, oh my gosh. So the next video I'm going to do after this, that's why you got to make sure you subscribe here. Um, I, I'm going to do a fun colander pour. So we're just going to slowly pour this in the little, it looks like a Starbucks shake cup. Can you see them pretty cups? Oh, I don't know. Ah. See, I don't think you guys can. S and I'm covered in paint. And if I move this, yeah, I will be fixing. Like all my stuff currently is set up for makeup. Okay, can you guys see? Oh goodness, I'm so scared. I'm gonna ruin it. Can you see the purdy? Okay, you know what? Yeah, I was hoping to keep this video at um, under 20 minutes, but no. Hold Let's see if I could reach. Yeah, you guys got to see this. Isn't that so pretty? Let's tilt a little in the light. So you could see from that, that beautiful silicon oil, the cells are already kind of starting to form. Okay. Now, when you pour into an object, you know, I think it's called a like a cup pour, a flip, like there's so many different terms. With the stencils, I kind of like to slowly like wander. <gasps> Look, it's seeping out. Look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> I like to go slow. I don't know why. I, I just feel like the slower, you know, you kind of let all them colors marry. Like when you spice up a, a good taco meat, it just blends better. Oh, these cells. Oh my gosh, look at the cells. Yeah, and, and in case you haven't noticed, um, I love peacock colors. Yeah, I think in another life, I, I was a peacock. Yeah, hence the hair. <clears throat> Yeah, just go super slow. And if I, I just blame it on me being a grandma. I, um, this would be like a good time on video editing where I would fast forward through this part, but feel free to fast forward because I'm just going to go so slow around my stencil. 
but you gotta watch what magic the torch does. Look, I got me two ones, you guys. I am a double torching grandmama. So with the stencil on here, because I've played with this a few times, you do want to let it not dry all the way, but you do want to let it dry before you yank the stencil off. Otherwise, so that was a perfect one, okay? And I forgot to grab my backup canvas because I've been putting my stencils on a blank canvas. That was obviously a test. Okay, that was, did not let it dry, like that was immediately, and then I just got pissed off and slapped them on. And that one, I had too much mama juice. Okay, there's no shame in my game. And let me go grab a blank canvas. Yeah, see, look, here we go. The Renee is already done Renee herself. Yes, I'm speaking in third person. Wait, I'm back! Did y'all miss me? Now, you don't have to put this on a separate can. I like, again, you do what, what floats your boat. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. Okay, that's what my hair looked like before the world ended. Yeah, when hair salons were open. But they're not open. No, they're not. Okay, so I'm going to put that on top of the one I liked because I find a use for anything and everything that I can find a use for. And here's the fun part. Torch time. Why the torch? One, it's freaking fun, okay? Two, it releases all the air bubbles. And before you tilt your canvas, it also helps all the beautiful bodacious cells just get all bodacious and cell-like. I mean, I know a lot of, you know, a lot of our amazing paint pourers that are like, I, uh, stars on YouTube and whatever the term is, like their cameras right here. Um, I don't have that set up yet because again, all my stuff set up for makeup, but the torch is kind of a must because you do want to get those air pockets out and all those air bubbles out. And if you love the cell action, it makes a huge difference. So I'm just trying to tilt slow. Okay, doing anything slow for me in itself is, um, yeah. <laughs> I am a very high energy, can you tell? And right now, I just want to cover that stencil. Then I get back, you know. Hold on, mommy juice. Then you get your handy dandy palette knife. Or whatever it is you like to use. Oh my gosh, I was going to do the stencil swipe. See, I, I, I'm so excited and spastic. I didn't even do that. I'll do that on the next video instead of the cup one. Because my goal is to do like three videos tonight. So you could do those super slow twirly whirls. Um, there's like, oh my gosh, there's so many fun things you can do with this stuff. Um, Jilly Cube, someone that I follow and love, does, she calls it a balloon kiss. I don't have a balloon. I've been testing out other types of material, but I still have not been able to master the balloon kiss. Okay, so basically you just let it kind of chill. And um, these do take, like this is a small one because normally I, I go big, man. Normally I just overdo things. <laughs> I'm extra. A smaller canvas like this, um, give it about 24 hours to dry before you seal it. Um, in a separate video, I'll show you what I use to seal, and it involves something called Dragon Glaze, which is super rad. 
but when you have a stencil on top, you want to yank the stencil off before it fully dries just so you get the shape of the stencil and then you can reverse paint and touch up. You can do like a paint pour and of course I did not, oh, okay, here's two that I've done. The sky's the limit. So many options, so much fun. The main thing is your color wheel. You want to, like, the goal is not to get muddy colors. Okay. And I will take a picture of this um, if you are watching me on my YouTube. Um, because I... Um, you're going to have to go to my Facebook um, my business page, Renee Keel Beauty and Art. I um, was five men makeover, but I'm just kind of doing both in one because makeup's beauty too, you know. Everything's beautiful. I will post a picture once I yank the stencil off. Show you guys the after. I actually just showed you the ones that I was supposed to take a picture of but forgot and because I like bright happy colors I'm gonna take my little craft stick and kind of go around that stencil border with this it's called scorching yellow neon yellow and make sure you subscribe to my channel and we are connected feel free to share my videos if you know someone that could use some sort of therapy, like I never ever have considered myself creative. I'm left-handed. I, I could write. I won lots of awards in college for writing. But, you know, I never thought I was like crafty and creative. I stumbled upon this pretty much when the world ended, Friday, March 13th, 2020. And it has been the best outlet for my stress. My husband of 25 years has stage four cancer. And that alone is something frightening with COVID. This has been an amazing outlet. Amazing outlet. Like my whole house is, I pretty much, I'm trying to like repaint all the furniture. But um, he's been putting his foot down on some things. Oops. Um, but on my Pinterest, I do have lots of pictures. See, look at how cool that looks when you swirl it. Um, on my Pinterest page, I do have a lot of uh, my stuff posted on there, which I do need to upload some of my paint pouring. So let me know what questions you have. I am so excited. To, I love meeting new friends. Ask me any questions. And if you need a kick lash mascara or makeup that's naturally based or customized skincare, ReneeKeel.com, you guys. Thank you for joining me. My next video, well, in my series, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with that. And I'm going to do the stencil swipe that I meant to do on here, but was too excited and like mommy juice brain farted. Okay, so until next time, my beautiful friends, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you. Renee Keel Art says bye, Felicia. <laughs>